Gainesville it was all so quiet. It was an afternoon of studying at the library or getting stood up at the coffee shop or watching a really bad play. Until suddenly it wasn't. Despite a pond-heavy first three-quarters leaden with miscues, the fourth proved to be the different Saturday in Florida's 26-20 win over Tennessee in its impromptu home opener. Two weeks removed from a season-opening loss to Michigan in which its offense was inept, it took until that fourth quarter for F's offense to produce. And when it did, it did so in the most dramatic way possible. The change of pace started right from the beginning of the final frame, when F cornerback C.J. Henderson grabbed an interception and returned it for a touchdown. From there, the game took an unexpected turn from defense heavy to offense happy. Number 23 Tennessee followed the score with its own touchdown. Florida answered with one of its own, a quick pass from quarterback Philip Franks to whiteout Brandon Powell that gave number 24 off its first offensive touchdown of the season. Tennessee responded with a toss from quarterback Quinton Dormandy to tight end Ethan Wolf. The back and forth streak ended when Franks threw an interception with 3.57 left in the game. Tennessee capitalized and tied the score at 20 with 50 seconds left. F 1 1 1 0 Southeastern Conference got the ball back, and with nine seconds left, Franks dropped back and evaded pressure. He stepped up in the right side of the packet and scrambled toward the line of scrimmage. Out of the corner of his eye, he saw a streaking Terry Cleveland and heaved it. The play wasn't designed to be a deep pass, but instinct took over. Cleveland said they practiced this play every day, and before the play, he told Franks to give him a chance. He grabbed the ball about 70 yards later with no time left just in front of the south goal post. Game over. I think everybody found out Philip can throw the ball a long way in the air, McElwain said before addressing the lasting impact of the win. I've got some burned images in my mind, he said, that I'm gonna carry with me for the rest of my life. Franks felt the same way. It was a really fun way to end the game, he said. I'd say it's one of the funnest I've ever been in.